All right, all right, all right, y'all. So, um, Grand Rising, good afternoon, good evening. Whichever one applies to you, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your viewership. And who knows, I'm thinking this is going to be the last reading on this series, but really that's up to you guys. If you have any requests for um, readings for people from Baddies West that had tension with Tommy or you know, just want to get clarification on certain things, let me know. Um, please keep in mind, I don't watch this show. So if you have a question about certain people, can you make it specific for me so that I can tap right in? Because I don't know what goes on on this show. If it wasn't for uh, seeing Krishan Rock on YouTube, I wouldn't even know who was fighting on this show until recently. But nonetheless... I decided to do a reading on the uh, boxing announcers table that was ringside for the Natalie Nunn and Tommy fight. Because to me, that was truly where the entertainment was. And in my last reading, I mentioned that the owner's wife was at that table and I was just thrown back because she reminded me of Anika from um, Empire. So I had to put some respect on her name actually figure out her name but miss uh janisha john and you can't tell me that you don't look at her and, and just glance i'm like oh shit that is anika but very very well put together well-spoken beautiful woman and to see her over there smiling and like it was like watching a tickled um a, a tickled debutante like she was so amused but ladylike at the same time which added to the messiness and i was here for it uh bobby lights oh we it's the ponytail for me yes the, the <laughs> jonathan i don't know if that was you that asked did, Sha uh, did tommy do shots before she came out that comment had me done. Of course, Roly. Roly kept sliding through with the wind, with the comments. And I found their banter more entertaining than the fight. Because really, it wasn't, no, it wasn't no real fight to me. Even though Tommy still managed to get beat up in this situation. That That's a whole nother loss. But... We gonna keep that cute. And I had to bring out something that helped me <laughs> with this reading, because it's all for shits and giggles anyway. So we got the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle deck being added to the mix today. Here's the back. And we're gonna read everybody and their reaction and what would be real time to what they were witnessing in the ring. And just like that, just like last time, um, we're going to start with Jonathan, because Lord, Paul Jonathan, he'd been in the worst positions out of this whole situation with Tommy, because he ended up fighting, found out afterwards Tommy left. Then, you know, the levity of everything had to set in for him, uh, how serious this was after you know, they all, I guess they were they were meeting up to talk about what happened. And then wigs got snatched off. Like, it all became too much. And he could no longer worry about, you know, being a friend or things like that because it was affecting, you know, his uh, dividends. Okay, Jonathan, don't you, don't you do that. You know, his cards is like, well, I'm not trying to talk. Yes, you are, Jonathan. All righty, now we got his cards together. Uh, I want to say the last reading, um, Tommy's cards were really uh, sticking together. She didn't want to talk either. So that's interesting. So Jonathan, how did you feel as you watched Tommy enter the ring? And what did you feel about Tommy's performance in this fight? Okay, so we got strength, three of pentacles, page of cups. 
<laughs> Look. Strength is also the card of you know trying to stay strong so he talking about, you know he's like look she was she came in looking good but you know i could see that she was trying to hold it together he's thinking about damn you know i don't know if they were supposed to work together he's thinking about other collaborations and other things <laughs> Ooh, and then you got the page of cups it's like his last thought is, oh, Lord, have mercy, child. I'm going to just be quiet. Like, he didn't even want to say nothing. He was so disappointed. <laughs> he was so disappointed. He like, I'm going to just, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go. He didn't really have much to say because he, he was just on a whole nother level of, I can't believe that this shit just happened. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Damn. <clears throat> uh -uh. So, you got the Knight of Pentacles and the Moon. So, he's acknowledging that he knows that this performance and everything that happened is going to slow up her money. And notice it's a face up here in the moon that's looking down so he knows that there's someone in particular okay looking down on this situation that's going to slow up somebody's money or he knows personally the secrets to why somebody's money is about to uh, hit the brakes mm. it's a wish fulfillment but it's a new expansive idea due to a wish fulfillment. Interesting enough, this um, combination came out in Lemmy's cards as well. And notice the emperor is at the bottom of the deck. So he's even acknowledging that the um, owner of the network is satisfied with how things turned out and he was progressive in moving forward to do what he needed to do to bring this to a halt. Yep, the world and the king of cups. So, even though he, he uh, Lemmy's not speaking much, this is greatly affecting him. And even, same thing with Jonathan. It's it's the energy of, damn, I can't believe that all of this happened. Girl, I really feel for you, but I ain't about to say shit publicly. You did this to yourself. You brought your whole world to an end. I ain't, you know, I ain't about to get involved in that. Mmm. And I know y'all can't see this, but the, hold on, I'm about to hold this up. So here it is. This is the way they're laying on the table. Notice the world, here she is. And then the king of cups, he's looking this way. You're like, okay, girl, all right, all right. Mm-hmm, yep, I'll see you next time. But Wounded Warriors at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cup, I mean Ace of Wands. So he's like, damn, you really set up here and got your ass whooped and now you got to move on. <laughs> Ooh wee. I mean, I see genuine feeling though um, with Jonathan. He really hates that, you know, she put herself in this position. But he's coming to terms with the idea that, hey, you did this to yourself. So next, we're going to go on to uh, Roly. Roly, my love, dear. <laughs> how did you feel about what you were seeing when you saw Tommy enter the ring? And how do you feel about Tommy's performance? Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. And we got the Hierophant. I always said Roly was about the money. That's all she cared about. And she like, oh, okay, um, I'm good with the network. I'm going to keep working, okay? Mm-mm. We 
got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, that was also an identifier for Tommy. Um, lovers in the reverse, like um, lovers doesn't just rep, uh, represent uh, sexual relationships, but it's like uh, going into agreement with someone. She's like, I'm no longer fucking with you. You brought this tower upon us. Through this combative, wishy-washy, back-and-forth behavior. And like I said, Queen of Wands was an identifier for Tommy at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, she sees her as problematic. She don't want to fuck with her. She don't want nothing to do with her. She's, you know, looking at her other options to make sure that, you know, if anything was to happen, she would be okay and still be able to do what she needs to do. But... Everybody that I'm feeling, they feel like, um, everybody's energy that I'm feeling, rather. They feel like Tommy is a hot potato that nobody wants to really touch. Nobody wants to catch her one way or the other because they don't want to catch the karma that comes with her. That's sad. Two of Cups. Interesting. Um... The high priest is under the deck. Oh, I don't know if I want to read this, Rolly, because this is like you know about something going on behind the scenes. Um, that's hush, hush, secret, secret. Um, that nobody's supposed to know about a secret agreement or arrangement. No, I feel messy like an entanglement. Mmm. And it allegedly has something to do with hot girl Tommy and how she's getting her money. Now, I am going to say this is for entertainment purposes only. And I am not speaking for Roly in any shape, form, or fashion. We've never met each other. Um, but if I'm getting the gist of what I feel like I just said she really is sparing you Tommy because she ain't put it out there yet and if she does she knows it would definitely be a tower for you <clears throat> that's a lot to go through your head while you sitting by a ringside watching the fight but I knew this announcer's booth was juicy Yeah, it will bring a tower to you. Three of swords falls right under the tower. A tower that causes heartbreak. So hell, how much worse can it get? She already got her ass whooped and fired on in the same 24 hours. Oh, this is deep 007 secret. She, hmm. It's something she didn't kept under that wig cap for a minute. And this feels like she she knows what she knows. She has a certainty about what she knows. But it's mom's your word because she ain't going to mess up how she make her money. And this is why she going to move on victoriously. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay, we're going to get out of that. We're going to get out of that. Mm. Okay, let's lighten it up a little bit. So, Rolly, what did you think of um, Tommy's fighting skills and ability in the ring? This is funny. Three of Pentacles. So... This is like, you know, the card of, like I said, working together, um, parties coming together to contribute. So this was supposed to be an equally matched fight. And it didn't matter because everybody was going to get a bag out of it, right? Six of Pentacles. Everybody was going to get a bag out of it. Knight of Pentacles in the back showing. It's like, oh, shoot. Um, 
That's like acknowledging somebody's bag is going to slow down after y'all get this payment or after y'all got this last payment. And that person is the star who is now in heavy, deep regret for their actions and what they've done. So, hmm. This is funny. Just It's like she's just saying that's your karma. That's what you get. Because she felt like she put a knife in everybody's back with her actions. The lovers. She, I'm telling you, she got some tea on Tommy that ain't being told. And it's, um, it's quite interesting, nonetheless. So, for people who think that Roly be talking a lot, she, I don't see anywhere where she said anything about what I'm seeing. Yeah, she's like the Stark brought in harsh communication, five of swords. Queen of Wands, hot girl Tommy at the bottom of the deck. She makes sure you know who she's talking about. And, and she, you know, she like, it don't even matter to her. She moving on victoriously. So she ain't even speaking on Tommy fighting ability. She don't even care who won the fight or how they won the fight. She look at it as we all got paid. We all got a bag out of this. We all collaborated to get to the money. Fuck Tommy. Ooh wee. So she, she is neither here nor there for Tommy as far as she's concerned. You know, it was, it was a, a, a day's work. But she is acknowledging that she feels like after this is over, Tommy's back is going to slow up tremendously. Well, let's see. Who else we got to read at the table? We got Jonathan. We got Rolly. Um, Bobby Lights. Why not? We're going to use the Mystic Mondays for Bobby Lights. Why not? He's a colorful figure. So Bobby Lights, okay, Mr. It's the Ponytail for me. What was your internal feel about this fight and Tommy's performance? How did this feel for you? Okay, so, oh, right off the bat. So he saw her as the independent woman, this boss bitch, right? The it girl, five of cups being brought to her knees that's deep regret deep sorrow deep shame oh what have i done um mm. so everybody's shocked at the point that she didn't give natalie a run for her money and let down all in the same time like what the fuck oh wow interesting So, he's looking at, okay, King of Pentacles, okay? That is a sugar daddy or just an older man, that's, uh, a guy that is a little older that's put together well and is abundant. So, he sees himself as cat daddy right here. And here he is traveling abroad, you know, three of wands, your ship's coming in traveling across the ocean across the pond he's like oh yes it's going down when we get over here to london he's meeting with people that he consider he considers like um family like or you know work family and knight of wands knight of wands is he was gonna get in get you know get in quick get out you know get his bag Get bossed up, party a little bit, go right back home. That's it and that's all. Nothing, not, you know, nothing here to see, right? This is how he felt going into this opportunity. So swiftly, okay, eight of wands, falling under the independent woman. 
this person becomes very aggressive with their uh, communication. Okay, so he's he's talking about um, how things quickly went wrong because Tommy was a bit sharp at the tongue. So this is his energy leading. I'm asking what he's thinking uh, ringside. So he's thinking about how did we get here? I got it. He had all of these things in mind that were gonna happen when he got there. Like, bitch, we gonna link up, we gonna party. We getting, you know, we getting money on the, the network. You know, we about to come over here to London and turn up. And then out of nowhere, Eight of Wands, you get to pop me your shit. And he's just like Queen of Cups. I thought that, you know. Wait a minute, you were like cool people. Like you were this loving, cool ass person. And you know, it feels flabbergasted, right? But he's looking at seven of swords, sneaky or deceitful actions that led to a choice. where somebody had to come forward to Tommy and communicate with her. Oh, his mind is all over the place in this ring. So now he's jumping ahead, okay? So he feels like whatever she was doing in secret, you know, she made this choice. The choice caught up to her. Now she got people at her, right? So wounded warrior. He acknowledges that he feel like she getting, you know, beat the smithereens, but it's like, damn, you really catching it. You catching it from all ends. So here it is, four of wands stability. And it's interesting how the guys, they have so much, um, compassion for her in this situation because they just like oh bitch I, I just can't believe that this is what's happening right but you know still in all we still working we still got to do what we got to do but this is a big hangman so everybody is acknowledging that there's a storm cloud over their head there's an elephant in the room while all of this is going on Okay, so Princess of Pentacles. This is slowly, you realize you have to just move forward from this person. Um, hey, girl, nothing personal. It is what it is, but um, I got to pay the bills, right? So, hey, you know, how you doing? I'll give you, you know, whatever um, communication I need to give you to be cordial but I'm gonna have to slow up on how I deal with you because we, the choice that you made, the two of wands. And he's even going into how this affects his stability. Him and Jonathan had the same issue. Like, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would fuck with you, but you know, I can't, I can't chance my money. I got to pay the bills. Six of uh, pentacles. That's like large income put in somebody's pocket of unearned income. So that could be gambling. <laughs> Tommy, he could have put in a bet against you and he won by a landslide. Allegedly. I don't know. But, you know, six of pentacles. I see so many six of pentacles popping up in all these readings and it makes sense to me. They had betting on this fight. They could have seen Tommy's condition and said, you know, or they thought Tommy just wasn't coming to the fight. So everybody put a bet down against Tommy, thinking that Tommy just wasn't going to come anyway, not knowing that she was going to show up and fall the hell out in the middle of the ring. Allegedly. So 
everybody not only got a bag, but possibly got an extra bag for betting against Tommy Lee because it was expected that she wasn't coming. Somebody bet on her, somebody bet against her because they expected that she wasn't coming. And they got a large lump sum of money because she she lost. So either way, she was going to lose. Just this wasn't the expectation. Hmm. Knight of Cups. So he did reach out to her or you know, offer her, you know, kind words and conversation after this choice she made, but he still had to consider his income. And because he had to consider his income, he decided that, hey, one monkey don't stop no show. I got to keep this thing moving because I can't mess up my money. So, Mr. It's the Ponytail, for me, mine was racing the whole time this fight was going on because... It was so much energy bouncing off the walls around the room. And I imagine it would be interesting doing commentary and the owner's wife is sitting next to you and it's tension in every which way direction. It's just like, oh God, what's happening? Well, what's happening? And well, oh shit, something happened over there. It was, this was a very interesting situation because this was the most ridiculous realistic situation you could ever be in it it definitely would make great for a comedy but it was real who else do i have so we did what jonathan we did roly we just did uh bobby lights and um janisha the the owner's wife okay we're gonna give her these um, rose gold foil cards. Mm -mm. Get them together so I can put them over the sage. So, Lady J, Miss Janisha, what was your take on the the fight while you sat at the announcer's table? What was the energy in the room? Okay, the star. Um, this is like, um, once again, the two stars of the show or the contract negotiation agreement. Knight of Swords. So, this is even communication was coming to her about Tommy as well. The Emperor and the Queen of Wands. Now we keep getting these cards. Emperor is the one who runs everything. Queen of Wands, hot girl Tommy. High Priestess. Possible secret knowledge. The chariot forward movement and expansion. So I'm starting to feel the energy of more and more. She was the deciding force behind her husband. Like you don't fire her, I will, allegedly. And it was just a either way it went, it was a bigger picture moment. Three of Wands. We have things coming to us. Our ships are coming in. Everything is working in our favor. Queen of Pentacles, Will of Fortune. So this is a, a abundant woman who sees that she's going to be more abundant. So she has to consider you know, that the Wheel of Fortune is in an upright field. Like I said, they vibrate in abundance. Her and Lemmy, you know, they have this energy about them where whatever they touch, they're going to make money as long as they keep it between them and their union. So this star was affecting how the Wheel of Fortune was going to turn out for them. Can't make this shit up. 
after this what? Five of Wands, fight. So yeah, she she really, really, really felt like Tommy was a ticking time bomb. She not even worried. Nobody at this table was worried about this fight. Nobody. They're acknowledging that this is a fight, but the bigger picture was the fight. The one that happened, you know, um, with the Chris Brown backstage thing and the one that happened after that. Like, yeah, this, wow. Autumn Joe's flying around the table. This is some serious, tense energy. The wound, let's see, uh, oh, okay, the hermit and the five of swords. So she's like, okay, so now you're an outcast because of how you communicate. You're a pariah because of this harsh communication. Knight of Cups. Um, it's like now you're trying to come back and offer your cup to people. You're trying to appear friendly. Um, I don't feel at all like the wife was feeling Tommy, especially afterwards at all. Heartbreak. I was right. Heartbreak. This this was just embarrassing. Everybody was just supposed to be out here, Three of Cups, celebrating. Six of Pentacles. Now, I would not be surprised if this Wheel of Fortune is under the Six of Pentacles because it was the wife. <laughs> Look what's at the bottom of my deck, y'all. Ace of Swords, the Devil, and what is this? the eight of pentacles so listen i'm sorry i like the way this wife thinks because if i am right and this sage is kicking up y'all if i'm right the wife better gets tommy and made a big bag so tommy you would have made a fool out your damn self while making everybody else wealthy Everybody got a healthy size check and some, a few. Everybody was in agreement that they were mentally and physically done with you. And if I am correct, cause this reading is for entertainment purposes only people just assume that you weren't going to come to the fight and bet against you so that they can make their money back and you actually came and it was way worse and way more enjoyable for tv because you could have been inebriated and unable to take care of things the way you needed to so either way they still got the same result if they bet it against you they just um ended up in shock because they didn't think it would be that easy when you showed up so we're gonna close out this reading and this was from the announcer's booth during the fight i'm telling you i was so tickled by the banter at this um announcer's booth that I had to see what the energy was over there. So to see that the energy was this tight and this tense, everybody was just like, look, we need this to work. Ain't nobody trying to be out of the job because you did too much. Oh, thank God. Okay, we all still got our job. Oh, girl, Tommy, I'm sorry for you. Um, maybe i see you down the road. Maybe not, but I got to get back to work. This is like the overall feeling, right? So... Let's do five of these and then we can go ahead and lead a speed. So let's see. Let me make sure I'm almost saying this right. Oh, Yamoja, star seed. Okay. Hold on, that's too many. We're gonna try it again. Okay. Um, I know I'm not saying this right. Uh, Vi, freedom. 
So that's freedom. They released you from your contract. You were the star. They released you from your contract. Universal oneness, transcend. Yes, it was a universal decision to release you from your contract. This is almost like everybody voted and they had to wait for you to show up. Okay, y'all just won't let me just do the five I want to do. Uh, Sockney, stability. Okay, so yeah, keeps coming up that they released you for the stability of the company. He looks like he can be an emperor, African emperor. Um, it's a B, accountability. His a B, that's, that's what it is, his a B accountability and i said that's something that tommy needs to work on i think i said that in my last reading she needs to work on her accountability and because she's not taking accountability for her actions look it fell under freedom that's why she's being released from her contract um glamour energy glam so yeah you showed up looking good but they all made a decision unilaterally that it, it wasn't <laughs> It wasn't worth the experience, but everybody is glad that they got out of it. So I'm going to close out this reading here and just Lord have mercy. I never seen somebody fire themselves in such a way. This, this was very, very dramatic for, you know, your last day on the job. So I think at this point I'm done with the baddies west readings we'll see i don't know but i definitely enjoyed this guys thank you so much for watching and i appreciate every last one of you and me and my pjs are going to go in here and find something to watch and probably drink a glass of champagne for no reason other than celebrating that it's no snow outside right now i don't know how this is happening because it's michigan we had three different you know, types of seasons of weather just the other day. And today, the Russian roulette landed on spring. So I'm going to enjoy um, this winter version of spring. You all have a great day and I'll see you next time. This reading is adjourned.